Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a cataract with grade 3 nuclear sclerosis. In this video, we are going to see direct job and what to do when the iris gets incarcerated to the side port. The main incision has been made on the posterior aspect of the limbus. The anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. A side port is made about 3 clock hours away from the main incision. And now capsulorexis is done with the help of uh, uterita forceps. In this case, I could not make a puncture with the uterita forceps. So, I take this needle, take this needle and cut the capsule, anterior capsule at the center and raise a capsular tag. I hold this capsular tag and go anticlockwise all around to get an adequate sized rexis of about 5 millimeter. And now hydro dissection is done. BSS is used and the 27 Gauss cannula and hydro dissection is done nicely. Next is the nucleus is rotated. The antechamber is again filled up with visco, and now is the time to go into the anterior chamber with the FECO handpiece. The FECO needle goes in with its bevel down. Some superficial cortical lens matter is removed. At this time, I am at high vacuum, 450 vacuum and 45 fluoride. Ultrasonic energy is set at 70 percent. And now, direct chop. One or two scalps and go into the substance of the nucleus, hold it firmly and chop. Rotate, separate the two heminuclei and then on heminucleus is held again and it is chopped. I always bury the tip into the substance of the nucleus so that occlusion is good and I get a strong hold of the lens matter. Artesonic energy was set at 70 percent but we can control the what amount of ultrasonic energy is required by our foot. So, we have to train our foot nicely. During emulsification of the last piece, I decrease the parameters. Vacuum 350 and fluoride 35. Now, see, I, after emulsifying this, I am removing the hand piece first and then the side port. Watch it again. I remove the hand piece first, press on the iris, let the iris fall back and then remove the chopper. So, whenever the iris gets incarcerated in the side port, first remove the hand piece, then press on the iris, let it fall back, then remove the chopper. And now, cortical cleanup is done in this case with the help of a Simcoe cannula. Whatever you like, you can use, you can use a quick shell IA, you can use bimanual irrigation aspiration. In that case, you will have to make another side port on the right side. And now I go through the side port which is about 1.6 millimeter or 1.7 millimeter and this 23 cos Simco goes and can remove the, all the cortex. Otherwise, if the side port is small, we can use bimanual irrigation aspiration. Irrigation goes through the side main wound and aspiration through the side port. Now, this is hydro implantation of a single piece hydrophobic monofocal intraocular lens. The lens goes into the capsular bag. The haptics take shelter at the equatorial part of the capsular bag. 
The capsular bag is irrigated nicely by the irrigating probe, irrigating cannula. And then, a bit of moxifloxacin is injected. The side port is closed by stromal hydration. I always do a final lavage with BSS and form the antechamber nicely by the Simco. Integrity of the owns are checked and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.